Hi, I'm Eric. I'm one of the co-founders of Meet Anyway and I just want to show you very quickly how we organized virtual poster sessions in the past. Now the first video is just going to be about how we did it in the past, what our software was like and how it was like to organize one. And then in the next video I'll, I'll try to tell you what we learned, some best practices we established and how we're going to improve the software in August to make it even better. So I have everything set up here. A lot of people asked for this and yeah, I hope we're good to go. Put a little nice uh, plant in the background. So I hope this is going to be brief, nice and very informative. So what I think is special about us is the fact that you can move around freely um, on a 2D map and a map looks like this. So you can basically structure your digital location as an organizer any way you want. And in the past, I mean, we had over 3000 people joining these conferences and we really had scientists all over the world. We had people from Harvard and from the MIT and Stanford and obviously a lot of LMU and TU members who also joined and the feedback was great. So we always scored 9 out of 10 or at least 9 out of 10 in every survey that we basically ever did around this. And the main reason I think is that you can just see in real time where everybody is on that map. And that just creates this thing that you have offline and that the thing that's really special about events is everybody else is also there. And that's very different from just watching a stream. Um, you, you know, you could also watch just a YouTube video and be alone at home or, you know, eat something uh, on the side. It just doesn't give you the experience of being at an event if you don't see who else is there. And what we do is we show you who else is there. And that's how it looks like from the bird perspective of the organizer. You usually have an auditorium, you have a meet the speakers floor where people can, after they watched um, some talk on stage, join um, a session with the speaker and to ask questions. And then you can have multiple floors with posters and each poster has its own room. You can place the name of the researcher in there and the researcher can be in that room. And uh, you could, without even joining the room, you could first look at the poster, look at the abstract, and then when you find it interesting, you just join and then talk with the researcher. So but that's the basic functionality. That's how it looks like from the bird's eye perspective um, of an organizer. And now let me just show you how it looks like if you're a guest and you're just joining a conference. Okay, so basically this is what it looks like when you join a conference. And that's just a demo event that we did. This is me, this is uh, Eric Lehman, that's me. This is just a colleague of mine or these are two colleagues of mine. And I can move around this space with my icon by clicking on this icon. Um, and what I do while I'm going into a place as I'm joining a video call right in the browser. So we'll just say hi to John here. We'll join the room. Then the software will connect in the browser. You don't need any extra software to do it. You just need a good browser. And now it's connecting me with the person who's also there. And I hope this is going to be fast enough. There he is. Hi, John. That's, uh, that's a little awkward, but it's fine. Um, and now uh, thank you for the demo and I'll just move further to the stage and I can also join stages, um, which is a different uh, way to join a room than a video call because you don't always need video calls. You sometimes just need a main stage where the main program is going to be, um, where people are not actually you know, interacting via audio or video, but you just want to see a speaker. And again, here you could, if there were more people in this room right now, I could just see who else is watching this currently, who else is on stage with me. And you could even have separate rooms for speakers. So this stream that you're seeing, I mean, right now, this is just a YouTube video, which is also possible, but you can integrate any kind of stream. It can be a YouTube live stream, but it can also be a Zoom um, session that you have. That's that's the basic functionality. Maybe one more thing I didn't show is uh, how the 
poster sessions would uh, look like. So this could be a poster and this could be the name of the researcher and the topic. And then I just click on details while I'm watching the stream. So the stream doesn't interrupt. It still runs in the background. I can listen to it, and but I can still watch or look at the poster, see what's interesting, close the pop-up, and I won't be um, interrupted in my main stream experience. And then also what's obviously uh, useful here is the search function. So let's just say I'm with 200 other people or 600 other people at the conference and I want to find somebody. This is obviously going to be very um, difficult to do. So that's why we integrated the search function where you can search for all the people who are there at any given time. So if I now want to find John, I'll just type in his name and I click on the go to link. And when I click on the go to link, it just navigates me to the element where he currently is uh, positioned and it shows me the element. And that's, uh, yeah, that's just a good way to find people. And I think that's all I want to show you from, from the main functionality. We have more than this, but I think that's really the core of it. Okay, so uh, I, I hope this was useful. Um, we will launch more videos in the next weeks to come to explain more about the functionality and just answer some commonly asked questions that are sort of hovering around the software and that, that we get all the time, but that's basically it. And if you feel curious about it, I'm always happy to hear from people who would like to use the software for their poster sessions and their scientific conferences, you know, whatever the use case is, definitely reach out to me. There's going to be a link on the website. And yeah, I'll just be happy to um, answer questions and talk more about the software. So hope to see you soon and uh, see you next time.